Hello, today we are going to discuss the Trendelenburg sign. As you may know, the Trendelenburg sign is a test of normal functioning of the gluteus medius. The gluteus medius is the main abductor of the hip, or the main stabilizer, sometimes referred to as the rotator cuff of the hip. So let's go through first what normal functioning um, Trendelenburg sign would look like, a normal or negative sign. And can you stand on your right leg? And remember, your hip is a, a lever. And we have sort of the effort arm, if you remember, on this side. And on the other side, we have the resistance arm or body weight. Body weight will go straight down here, or really even further. So it, it relies on the gluteus medius to stabilize. Otherwise, the hip, the opposite hip of the contralateral hip will dip down. So right now, we go here, and we go here, and we have a straight perpendicular line. That is a normal Trendelenburg sign representing normal gluteus medius function. Okay, thank you, Hannah. Now let's go to the uncompensated Trendelenburg. So as I said, this is a, a, an uncompensated uh, Trendelenburg, and we see how the, the function of the gluteus medius is insufficient, whether it's neurological, whether it's an injury, a muscle tear, um, weakness, etc., post-surgical, etc. And so what happens is, we talked about this lever, well, the effort arm, or the gluteus medius, is unable to balance that out. And in, in order, in not balancing it out, a, the weight of her body overcomes that, and it drops. And here we have what would be an uncompensated um, Trendelenburg sign, indicating gluteus medius weakness or dysfunction in some way. Thank you. And the last one we're going to discuss is the, is the compensated, I'm sorry, the compensated um, Trendelenburg sign. And so with this, we're going to go, and now we have, where we still have this weakness here, but instead of the body weight being so far away, kind of intuitively, and this is an unconscious, intuitive way of compensating for this, so um, you don't give the instructions, you just have them stand on that leg. And what Hannah is doing is shifting right over her hip joint. And in doing so, she's making the resistance arm zero, or the torque around her hip is zero. And we, the amount of shifting is depends on how much, how far it has to go to uh, eliminate the need for the gluteus medius to function. Thank you. Thank you.